Hey Noodles, welcome back to our channel. Today, uh, I got up a little early. Well, not, yeah, I was up already by like 9, 9.30. Today, I'm going to be taking my daughter for her first month checkup. And I am going to be taking you guys along, which I am excited. I know I haven't been posting and I'm so sorry, but it's been really crazy. And... It's been hard to even pick up a freaking camera and film because mommy duties come first and it's just kind of been busy, you know. Um, my fiance has been working so it's, it's hard, you know, kind of filming and things like that. But, but right now I am actually preparing everything so we can go to the appointment and yeah, today she'll be getting her shots and I'm like... I'll probably cry with her maybe <laughs> but she is right here look at her she's so sleeping and I already kind of prepared her bag so I really want to go through her little bag of what I have in there because things are very important that you must have in your backpack before leaving the house so the first thing that you must have in her in the backpack, which this is her backpack by the way, it's right here. So, the first thing that you must have is extra clothes. Extra clothes is very important because if she poops on her clothes, you have extra clothes to change her. So, I have like two sets of clothes right here. You also need onesies inside, so I have two onesies as well, and a pants just, just in case. And the next thing that you must have is a burping cloth, because if your daughter's hungry, you need to burp her so that you won't get thrown up. Uh, the next thing that you must have is a bib for her so she won't get messy, which is very important because you don't want to ruin the clothes. The next thing that you must have in your diaper bag is diapers. If she's poop, you change. So, you must have diapers in there. The next thing is a wipes. A wipes to clean her booty when she is poopies or pee. Then you must have some diaper ointment, which I used the aqua for. I also have a different one that I, I love using. And I use that for the face, for the whole body, which is really great for the skin, for the baby. And I'm going to show you because I, I didn't pack it. It's like I take that one mostly, the aqua for. But the one that you guys should get is this one right here. It is the best if she's skin is cracked if her skin is dry this also helps for anything so i also use this in her face because she's been like super dry and like she's been having like a little rash this is amazing for it um the next thing that you guys would want to pack is little extra stuff i have like an extra hat i have an extra gloves socks just in case um, I also um, pack this. This is really good. So this is the Mommy Bliss Grape Water. Um, it is very good for like hiccups, gas, colic, and fuzziness. So I normally give her this whenever she has really bad hiccups. Um, and yeah. So I also take blankets. It's very important to take blankets just in case, you know. And the most important things is to take bottles and formulas. So, I take two bottles and formula. Sometimes I take an extra one just in case, depending on how long I'll be out. But, yeah, I have that, like, literally to go. And my little one drinks about, like, three to four ounces. So, just imagine. But the good thing is that she eats every three to four hours, so which is pretty good. Um, but, yeah. And I take my like, hand sanitizer just in case. And because, you know, I don't want to be carrying a purse and a diaper bag, I just take my little wallet and I just stick it in the bag as well. So, forget about you. That This is like, forget about you. It's mommy, oh mommy. So, 
Yes, I take that. Um, what else do I take? That is very important. Um, that's pretty much it what I normally take for her diaper bag. And yeah, so uh, I'm going to put you guys down for a minute. It's kind of like hard. So this is my diaper bag. This is what I take for her. I do take extra, extra diapers because she tends to pee, right? And she, her diaper's full. I change it. Then she tends to poop on top of that. And then when you change it, she decides to poop again, which is like, I've run out of diapers so bad. So, so I will, I will see you guys at the doctor's appointment so I can finish getting ready. See you in a little bit. No, solo el pampe, porque está mojado. Quítale el coso. Okay. The doctor will be shortly. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Then I'll. What are you doing? Hey, mamas. She is eight and one pound. So, we just got out of the doctor's. She got her shot. I did not film it because my mom had to hold her hands. I had to hold her legs so that the lady could give her the shot. And she extremely cried. I felt so bad. Like, I was like, I wanted to cry, but my mom cried for me. So, right after, we'll just put her clothes on and then we fed her. So, she is full and she knocked out. I mean she literally cried loud like i was just like oh but so that's why i couldn't film that part but everything else her way her everything it's excellent she's like literally above average with her height so this girl's gonna be tall she's gonna leave me short but when i get home i'm gonna talk to you guys about what's going on with her um i haven't really been filming her at all or anything because it's been kind of crazy and she's been going through some stuff that it's just like so i'll explain once i get home and yeah i'm gonna show you her right now she's 
like sleeping now, but kind of with her eyes open sleeping. Weird. I don't know. But look. So that's my baby. She's sleeping. But I'll talk to you guys in just a little few. And I just arrived home. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about what has been going on with her. Okay, so let me place you somewhere. I don't even have my stand-up. I don't have nothing. So, okay, so I want to talk to you guys about what's been going on with her. So when she was at the hospital, she was doing great with the Semenac because that's what they gave me. I was still trying to breastfeed and stuff, but nothing would come out, so she would cry, cry, cry. So, I started giving her the formula, which was the Similac. And she was really, you know, she was doing great with the Similac. So then, a week after I got home, I started noticing that she was spitting up a lot. And it was not kind of normal, right? So, she kept spitting up a lot, and sometimes, sometimes, it would come out of her nose as well. So, I was just like, oh, it's probably the formula or something, whatever. Okay, so then... I switched it to a different one, which was sensitive, Similac sensitive, and I was like, okay, it, it kind of settling down in her stomach, or whatever, and then I had the appointment with the doctor, which I took her like a bunch of times, like every week I would have to take her to the doctor because of something, so when I took her to the doctor, I was telling her, look, she's spinning up a lot, and sometimes it comes down on her nose. And I'm like, and I was researching it before going to the doctor and I was telling the doctor that I have a feeling it's as a reflex that she has because, you know, like I would burp her and I'll hear it come up. And she was like, okay, so it it, it is as a reflex because she kind of also witnessed it. So she was like, okay, look, I'm going to give you Xantex, which is going to kind of help with uh, the reflex a little bit and the acid. So she gave me that. And she also sent me to a specialist. So, I went to the specialist the next day. And, you know, I was telling the specialist what was going on with her. That she was, it was coming up. And sometimes it would come out of her nose. And then, so she kind of had me and her on a diet. Um, she was telling me to give her less milk. Because I was telling her that I was breastfeeding. I started breastfeeding, like, three weeks ago like some milk was coming out at least a little bit you know and then I would give her like a formula right after because depending you know sometimes I would feel like it I don't even know why I'm touching my boobs <laughs> I don't even know why I'm touching my boobies but sometimes you know a woman feels when it's like okay it's not coming out and you know this is not coming out so um I started giving her formula the formula so and then at night, I just noticed that she would literally, like, be up at 11, she would go to sleep to 3, and she would be so fuzzy, like, very fuzzy. Sometimes she would throw up, and it would come down her nose, and, you know, I told the doctor all this that was going on. <clears throat> I explained to her what was going on, so she was, like, reduced to milk and stuff like that, but in my opinion, I'm like, she eats. I, tr I tried doing what the doctor told me. Give her breast milk, give her two ounces, that's it. If she cries, just wait two hours. I, I couldn't do it. I, she couldn't do it because she was hungry. She would spit up and she would get hungry again. So it was like, uh, no, this is not really working with her. Until this week, okay? This week. So let's go back to last week. Last week or the week before, I changed her formula again because um, I do take WIC, you know. A little help doesn't hurt anybody. So, um, I was, you know, I was giving her Enfamil, uh, Gentilis. That's the one that they kind of pride, and they were like, oh, they don't give Semilac, whatever. The case was, they don't give Semilac. So, they gave me uh, Enfamil Gentilis. I was giving her for that for like two weeks, and it's just like, I felt like it got worse. Like, she would eat, spit it up, eat, and then like spit it up. And so this week, that on Monday, Monday night, me and my mother was here till 3 o'clock in the morning with her. And she literally 
cry. Like, she was sleeping, and she woke up, like, 11 something, because I kind of noticed that she was spitting. And she just started screaming, screaming. I didn't know what was going on with her. I don't know if something was burning her. I, I really did not know. Like, she was just crying and crying and crying until my mom came down, and she was like, what's going on? I'm like, she's just started screaming. She's screaming. Like, I don't know what's going on. So, we you know, we burped her. We did everything. We gave her a little bit more milk. My mom literally put her... I have like this round uh, uh, pillow. We kind of was putting her to sleep there because I could I couldn't even trust her sleeping in that bassinet. Wait, where is it? In that bassinet right behind me, I couldn't. So I, you know, we were, she was sleeping on that round pillow, and then my mom lays her down. Literally, like it came out of her mouth. Like she was, it was just like a, a like a big explosion through her mouth and through her nose like my mom was so my mom was shocked she was like oh my god like i really was like I, I don't know what else to do and then the same thing happened the following day but it was not like as monday night and the next day at night you know i was talking to my sister-in-law and she was like you know she gave her daughter soy milk uh from you know the similar brand and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to try that. So my fiancé went around 11 at night. He went to Walgreens. He went to go see, you know, if they had the can there. And then I called my other sister-in-law, which is my fiancé's sister. I called her, and you know, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to switch her milk, and I'm just going to give her soy. And she's like, no, don't give her soy. Soy milk is bad. Like, it doesn't really have protein. It doesn't, like, really give her the nutrients. It's bad. She's like, don't give it to her. She's like, if you're going to give her and you're going to switch her milk, just go to Similac, spit up. So I was like, all right, so let me call my fiance. I called him and I was like, babe, don't, you know, did you, I was like, are you about to leave? And he's like, yeah, I just paid. I was like, no, see if you can get the Similac spit up. It's the green can. And she, and then he's like, oh my God, this lady's going to think that we don't even know what the hell we're doing. I'm like, no. I talked to your sister. She said, give her that one. The reason why I got her that one was because it has rice starch. So, when I had gone to the specialist, she was like, if she does not get better with just reducing her food, uh, the following week, you're going to have to add rice cereal. Why? Because it thickens the milk. So, and I feel like because it thickens the milk, it will be harder for her to suck and she won't be like swallowing so fast that it brings up the you know the milk back up so i was like okay so then when my sister-in-law told me try this and this you don't even have to buy rice cereal it's all in there and i'm telling you guys the night before yesterday she drank it then you know she was a little fuzzy whatever Yesterday, the whole day, she was fine. And last night, she did super amazing. So, this milk literally changed my baby's life. I do guys had no idea. I've been through, like, different milks with her. And it's still the same thing. But, she still has the acid reflux. But, the milk kind of sets in her stomach. And it's not as, like so liquidy that would come up it's a little thicker and it's just kind of settles down and i am like literally the happiest mama ever like last night i literally slept she just got up when she was hungry and and that's it like i literally the past few weeks i've been like literally going to sleep at three o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning with her because of the same problem that she had like, you know the reflex that she has and i am like the happiest person now and, like thank goodness that this milk literally changed her way of eating like her way of like actually like oh, you guys have no idea i literally cry i would literally cry every night with her until three o'clock in the morning because i didn't know what else to do like she was fine she was cranky like it, it was just a whole thing i changed her diaper nothing i literally literally would cry every night with her and yesterday it was like a brand new baby I am like beyond happy, beyond happy that she's like great, doing great. And yeah, so I took her today to the checkup, but she's really great. You know, with her acid reflex, the doctor was like, put her more on tummy time. The more she is doing her exercises and the way she's lifting up her head and everything, 
the faster it'll like help remove or yeah kind of remove the acid reflex from her tummy and you know the more she does the exercise the better it is for her but her little shot was really bad she cried oh my god like ugh. just imagine for us when you get a shot and then the liquid itself goes in your body it's like that hurts so just imagine to a baby oh my god it was horrible but that's what's been going on with her but this milk has like changed her life i am pumping which i'm still working hard to produce a lot of milk so then i can just breastfeed for now she'll be on that formula until like my milk actually comes in fully eight to ten ounces everything so she's been doing really great and i'm so happy oh my goodness you guys have no idea it's been tough this is why i really haven't been on my channel i haven't posted anything not even on my instagram because it's been super busy i've been really busy with her taking her to doctors to make sure what's going on like it's just been extremely like it's horrible so with that being said i'm just gonna close this video here i don't want to keep talking too much but on my next video you'll get to see a little bit more of her and us you know and yeah so Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys stay tuned for more videos. I know that, again, I've been slacking and it's horrible. But um, So, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. And I'll give you an update on me. On what's been going on with me. A lot of changes have been going on in my body and you guys have no idea. But, stay tuned for that video next. And, thank you again. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below on what you guys thought of this video. If you want to see more of my baby, she is literally growing fast. Oh my god. I'm like, I felt like I just had you last week. Like, what's going on? But, I'll see you until the next one. And, bye.